What is up you guys, this is Stroker HD and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Before we start the video guys, I'd just like to apologise for any background noise you hear, just as there's a house next door which is actually currently being worked on and there is drilling that's going on, or something like that sounds like drilling. And it's like brrrr, so you may hear it in the middle, it doesn't affect the video that much but you can definitely hear it in the video, so I'm sorry if that comes up at any point in the video, I may try and edit it out but obviously I'm trying to get the tutorial out as fast as I can for you guys so you can do this yourself. Anyway. So, 24 hours ago, well, or some hours, <laughs> sometime yesterday, YouTube released a new feature called Animated Banners, where you can basically upload a git.gif format as your banner. So, if we go to hop onto my channel, I've done one really quickly, and it's kind of bad, but I will be changing it in the future. See so how the TNT flashes, poof, explodes, and it says subscribe for one second, and yeah, I did that. It was pretty easy. Um, I've been looking around, haven't seen that other... As this is very like early days, I'm seeing many other YouTubers have actually done this, but one of them is Captain Sparkles. He's a huge YouTuber. You may have probably you would have heard of him. And boom. It's pretty pretty cool that is. So obviously there is some limitations with this feature and it's the actual size of the background. So we hop back on over to my channel. And if we were to try and upload one, if we were to go on edit channel art and try and upload one, obviously there is a two megabyte limit. So that doesn't mean you can't make huge animations where this guy walking across, gets killed, some revenge thing. Like, honestly, the size limit is not very big. My my TNT one, that was 1.5. So that is nearly the limit. So maybe they increase the limit in the future, but the team, at the moment, it, this is about all you can do. So to do this, there's a few programs you're going to need. Well, one program. <laughs> well, you need Google. You need Internet Explorer or Google Chrome. So, wow. Um, so what I use to do this is actually uh, fireworks, which I found a lot easier. Some people use uh, Photoshop, but for this tutorial purposes, I'm going to be using fireworks. And it's all to do with these things called states. So fireworks is basically like Photoshop. So it has a lot of Photoshop features, but it's uh, you can also make dot .gifs with it and its animation purposes and all that kind of stuff. So let's load up a new world. So the first thing, a new world, we're playing Minecraft, what are you want about? Uh, so the, things, the first thing you want to actually do is create a new document. But you're going to need your channel art because you see this is my channel art beforehand and I obviously just added the TNT on. So if you don't have your channel art, this may be a problem. You can always make a new channel art. But uh, yeah, that, that could quite be a product problem. But if you just wanted this bit, because you know uh, this bit's on the TV and this is your actual thing. If you were just like, oh, I don't have that. I wish I could get that. I actually found out a thing the other day on how to actually gain it. I'm not sure if it's going to work though because now I'm using a GIF. It may not work. Oh, yeah, it still works. Okay, so nice. So what you do is you click on your thing and press expect element. And if you're in Google Chrome and uh, Windows, it should come up with this. I'm not sure about Mac, but it's probably the same. So what you want to do is you're going to copy this link. File copy. And uh, if you put that in, it shouldn't come up. You're going to want to add to edit from the slash, slash. Okay, so you want to get rid of URL. Uh, and to start it from th there, I believe. Boom. Okay, so we now have my banner there. So you can now do this way and click save image and uh, get your actual YouTube banner. But obviously, it doesn't have the background bit. But I s it is pretty easy to make that because people only see it on the TV anyway. And I, for one, don't have a... Uh, like an internet TV anyway, so uh, not that many people see it. So you could just add a simple blue background or whatever. Say so you want to go for it and do uh, do from template or whatever. And yeah, I'll be right back when I've set it up. Okay, so I'm back. So I just went on file, open, and then found my channel art. It took me ages to find, that's why I could it. And yeah, now I have it. So we can close this down. We don't need to save that. We can close that down and close this down. And these actually do quite cause a little bit of lag. So I'm actually just going to hop onto uh, my subscriptions. So it doesn't cause me lag while I'm doing this, as well as some recording. Uh, we don't need to... Yes, yeah, on do not step. Okay, that's fine. All right. Okay, so the first thing you want to go ahead and do is work out what you want to do on your channel. So obviously there's limitations you can have. I think I had 15. We can check, actually. Was it 15? Yeah, 14 frames. And each one was on eight, so the higher they are, the more memory they take up. So if you to have this on like a hundred, obviously that'd be a really long GIF. Eight is uh, eight milliseconds. So if you go ahead and hop onto it, you just want to think, what do you want to do? So there's there's lots of things you could do. You can make a stick figure that walks across, as you saw like Captain Sparkles. He had a animated thing that threw something. But obviously, 
it comes with costs. If you wanted to do something like Captain Sparkles did where he had that guy who threw the sword, that you're going to need a program called Cinema 4D to animate each of the movements of his character moving and then throwing the sword. So you're going to need that Cinema 4D and if you have Cinema 4D all you need to do is put a player in there and render it out. There's so many tutorials on how to do that online so that's really simple but I'm just going to be going over how to actually make the actual dot .gif instead of how to make the things to put in dot So just for the purpose of the video I'm just going to do the same as I did here. So to start off with I just got two pieces of TNT off the internet like this. Let's copy them in and boom. That's all I did. So you can basically just search TNT. Actually, should we try and if you just search TNT Minecraft, do like that, and uh, go on images, and you can basically grab any TNT. Or if you want to do something different, like I don't know, redstone lamp, you want to turn on and off redstone lamp. You can get a redstone lamp. But for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to do what I did because I 100% do that. So for the first, the next thing you want to go ahead and do is you want to add a state. So you now have two states here now. This is your starting one and this is obviously your second one. So the first thing you want to actually want to do is you want to delete that one and you actually just want to do duplicate state and then it'll have already have your stuff in it. So if we play our video, wow, it's amazing. So uh, and then you can go ahead and edit these like a thing. I'm actually going to make these a group just to work it on. It'll be slightly easier. Okay, so as with mine, the TNT actually explodes. And um, so the way to do that is to actually go on... Um, well, you can firstly there's that opacity, and as the TNT actually uh, explodes, the opacity goes up. But it's already on 100, so we just leave that as it is because that's like too complex. So all you can do is click Add. You should see this little thing when you select them, like that. It should come up the bottom, and this is Photoshop Live Effects. So you can basically just go on uh, like I just can't <laughs> the order, and then go on Brightness slash Contrast. And as you can see here, it's gone straight onto 70 because that's what I had it on on the document up there. But uh, this is the default on uh, zero. So what you want to want to do is you want to put it up to about about forty. Yeah, about forty-five would do. You want to press OK. And the next thing you want to do is obviously duplicate the state again. Boom. And the next thing you want to do is obviously do this again. You want to go on this. Double click on this, and then just put the brightness up way more. Yeah, that's about good. So now you can see the brightness is going up. So if we play it. Boom, boom, it's going up, just like TNT does in Minecraft. You can duplicate state again. Remember, you do have limitations on states, so you don't want to go absolutely crazy uh, with the states or anything like that. So you go ahead and go on this again, duplicate this again, and we'll put that one on 100%. That's enough. Because, obviously, it's... Yeah, that's that's pretty good, actually. Um, I like to change this to about 10, so if you click on the top one and then click on the bottom while holding shift, you can set them all, then double-click here and change this to 10. Okay, so this is a little basic skills to do with states and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you now you have your TNT getting hotter. But as you remember in Minecraft, it goes hot, then cold, then hot, then cold, then boom. So, um, so the next thing you want to do is actually get this one, and you want to click duplicate state. But then you want to put at the end. So now it goes, it's hot, and then it's got colder. And then you want to get the coldest. That's the coldest one. This is the second coldest one. Duplicate that one and put it at the end again. So as you can see, you basically just wanted to make it go... Uh, really light and then really dark again so if you can see here ours goes dark going light going lighter going really light then going darker and darker into a back at this one which we can go ahead and do duplicate and put at the end so if you see already it's, it, the TNT is going hot and cold hot and cold and uh, pretty well done actually not gonna lie <laughs> just a bro <laughs> okay so now we're hot again uh, not hot really cold we want to get and get this one again, so we just click duplicate click at the end, and then we have this one, which is the next level. Click duplicate, put at the end, and then this one, which is the hardest one. Yep, click duplicate and put at the end. And now on this one, we're gonna actually make it explode. So you can see, boom, boom, and now it's gonna explode. So for the explosion, you want to go and hop onto the internet again, and you want to expert ex <laughs> expert what the fuck is expert explosion? So um. I tried looking for Minecraft explosions and even tried looking in the Minecraft coding for the actual texture and the texture was really bad so I just reckon to go with and I'm back my video actually just cut off there so now I'm back so as I was saying Minecraft explosions are very good so I reckon to go with an actual default normal explosion so as we can have we have explosions here but 
These ones are all nuclear and uh, kind of confusing and they wouldn't really fit the TNT as TNT does not make nuclear bombs last time I checked. So you could actually search cartoon explosion and boom we have a nose uh, like cool cartoon ones. Uh, for the purpose of the video we're actually going to pick, yeah that one looks pretty cool. So you can go ahead and you don't want to save it, you don't want to copy it, just actually save it. <laughs> just like that, that really makes sense. So you want to save the image as uh, whatever it's called. Download it there and then hop over to here and drag it in. Okay, so now we have our explosion in basic form. So what you want to do now, as you can see, boom like that. You want to head and shrink this down to actual about size of the TNT. Does not about, matter about the quality that much because it's literally there for like one millisecond and no one's going to notice. <gasps> it's not in HD. Kill him. All right, so there you have it there. And then you want to go into and go to layers. You want to make sure you've got this selected first. Boom. I'm going to put the opacity like way down. Yeah, about there. That's that's pretty good. You always want to go and duplicate state. Boom. Then you can go ahead and uh, improve. Um, then you want to go on this. You want to make the size, uh, yeah, slightly bigger. Then you want to go on uh, layers again. And you want to go ahead and hop up the opacity. See there? You're starting to see it come out if we, if we watch the video. Yeah, see? Looking pretty good. Obviously, there's no sound in GIFs, which kind of sucks, but I don't know. Maybe in the future, they'll let you add sounds to your channel banner. That would be pretty cool. But, uh, okay, so now we have this state again. We want to duplicate the state again. And then we want to go ahead and add, do the same thing again. Make it slightly bigger. So the explosion's coming out over the TNT. Hop up the opacity. So you're starting to see the explosion way more than the TNT. Because then you can actually get the effect of the explosion. So that's starting to look good. Okay, so we're running out of states here because we don't want the style to be too big. So we're going to do a couple more duplicate state. We're going to do one more big and then we'll just have the huge one. Okay, so we've got 13 again. Let's go ahead and make this one like the size of uh, about there. Make sure we're getting the middle though. It doesn't matter like 100% the middle because honestly you don't notice it that much when it's like one millisecond. Um, then hop uh, back onto this. Go back up to the opacity and just wham up the opacity now. Oh no, wait, we're on the wrong layer. Undo that, undo that, hop back onto this, get onto the right state, and then hop up the opacity. Okay, so we'll probably put it on about 80%. You don't want 100% because it makes it look kind of bad, see. Let's put it on about 80%, and then for the last one, we want to duplicate state again, and we just want to make it absolutely massive. You know, take up like a good percentage of your banner. As you remember, this is the TV bit. And this is the actual bit you're going to see on a PC, iPod. Actually, I don't think they add animated GIFs to... Wait, let's see. this is a little research here. Um, let's hop on my phone now, YouTube. I wonder if, I wonder if this is going to come up. It would be quite laggy for like a phone, so I'm pretty sure. Alright, uh, let's hop on to my channel. I have so many subscriptions. <laughs> Trollcast HG. Uh, let's click on my... Am I going to have an anime? Yes, I do. Oh, that is pretty cool. Yeah, so they work on, uh, well, it works on my phone anyway. I assume it would work on iPhones. I have a Windows phone, but I'm pretty sure it would work on everything. Okay, so boom, now we have our huge state. Now with this, uh, as this one's a bit more like messy, you want to put it down to about seven, I would recommend. And then you need to copy and paste it to do it for all the other ones. So you're going to want to go ahead and get onto the bit where we have the explosion. In, and just click on the explosion, click Control-C and Control-V. And then just hop over there, do the same again, control C, control V, hop and over there, next state, control C, control V, hop over to there, and state 13, control C, control V, nearly there now, and control C, control V. Okay, so that's the last state, so obviously that's like the finishing one, get it, get it in a right around the middle so it doesn't, it looks professional. Then, what I did with a cheeky little subscribe thing. <laughs> <laughs> just to like annoy people as it pops up add your text to about 400 you can go ahead and pick a cool font I the Batman forever alternate font but uh, for the sake of the video let's pick a different one ah yikes <laughs> yeah let's use this subscribe I have so many fonts on this computer I guess it's crazy alright so subscribe you could add it like that you can have a little thing there subscribe like that and then you can make sure it's all working fine. 
boom, boom, poof, subscribe. So obviously, yeah, you don't have to do exactly what I've done in this video. This was just a basic tutorial on how to work states and how they work. Um, so obviously, this is how long they're played, displayed on the screen for. Um, and then you can go ahead and like duplicate it and delete them. It's you just right click it and all here and that, all that kind of stuff. And now to finish off the actual uh, thing, this is the most important thing which I had a bit of trouble with because I forgot to do it. You want to go into animated GIF up there. You want to make sure that's on animated GIF as well. And then all you want to do here is go to file. You want to go to save as. Oh no, my bad. You want to go ahead and go to export. You want to name it something. So let's do video GIF and then uh, images only and press save then we go ahead and hop over to our document we sh oh it's just loading there we go and it's it's doing it as we speak so while it's doing it it's causing a load of shit and oh there we go <laughs> to my computer as it's, it's uh, recording as well so video gif as you can see it doesn't work here it doesn't work in photo gallery whoa it's amazing no no we have to upload it to youtube for it to work it does not work in photo gallery so don't be like oh no it's not worked as you can see that's the basic gif but obviously that's not how it is if we go ahead and hop over over to youtube again hop on your channel then you go to edit channel art then up click upload go to here and it should be in video video there we go this one now it should take a little bit to upload i wonder how much how much space did we use up there yeah 1.18 not bad megabytes yeah, obviously we only have two megabytes but yeah that's reasonable now it should upload any second now come on youtube delaying the video you suck <laughs> and here we are as you can see it shows our channel art from the point of the tv the point of the mobile yeah i just said over doesn't it <laughs> on the mobile the subscribers like out of the screen <laughs> that's pretty funny it wasn't like that on my mobile ah you got it wrong that's probably from an iphone point of view though isn't it yeah mine you can just see the subscribe yeah so then you can want to do is you can press select and all that kind of stuff so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video obviously i'm going to keep mine as how it is uh maybe a new one later or whatever and you can guys completely mess around with this you can do whatever you like as long as it's under two megabytes you can get a lot of pictures off the internet and just make like a little moving Minecraft guy or you if you're not into Minecraft you can do like whatever like Call of Duty, whatever. And if you're not a gamer, you can do blogging stuff. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like and share this video. But yeah, this was Strokus HD and I hope this video helped you. So if we play our video. Wow, it's amazing. So uh and then you can go ahead and edit these like a thing. I'm actually going to make these a group just to work it on. It'll be slightly easier. Okay, so as with mine, the TNT actually explodes. And um, so the way to do that is to actually go on. Um, well, you can firstly, there's that opacity. And as the TNT actually uh, explodes, the opacity goes up. But it's already on 100, so we'll just leave that as it is because that's like too complex. So all you can do is click add. You should see this little thing when you select them like that. It should come up the bottom. And this is Photoshop live effects so you can basically just go on uh like i just can't contact <laughs> the water and then go on brightness slash contrast and as you can see here it's gone straight onto 70 because that's what i had it on on the document up there but uh, this is the default on uh zero so what you only want to do is you want to put it up to about about 40 yeah about 45 would do i'm gonna press okay and the next thing you want to do is obviously duplicate state again the next thing you want to do is obviously do this again. You want to go on this, you double click on this, and then just put the brightness up way more. Yeah, that's about good. So now you can see the brightness is going up. So if we play it, boom, boom, it's going up. Just like TNT does in Minecraft, you can duplicate state again. Remember, you do have limitations on states, so you don't want to go absolutely crazy uh, with the states or anything like that. So you go ahead and go on this again, double click this again, and we'll put that one on 100%. That's enough. Because obviously it's, yeah, that's that's pretty good actually. Um, I like to change this to about 10. So if you click on the top one and click on the bottom while holding shift, you can set them all. Then double click here and change this to 10. Okay, so this is a little basic skill to do with states and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you, now you have your TNT getting hotter. But as you remember in Minecraft, it goes hot, then cold, then hot, then cold, then boom. So, um, so the next thing you want to do is actually get this one and you want to click duplicate state. Then you want to put at the end so now it goes it's hot and then it's got colder 
and then you want to get the coldest that's the coldest one this is the second coldest one duplicate that one and put it at the end again so as you can see you basically just wanted to make it go uh, really light and then really dark again so as you can see here ours goes dark going light going lighter going really light then going darker and darker until we're back at this one which we can go ahead and do duplicate and put at the end so as you see already it's, it, the TNT is going hot and cold hot and cold and uh, pretty well done actually not gonna lie <laughs> just a bro <laughs> okay so now we're hot again uh, not hot really cold we want to get and get this one again so we just click duplicate put at the end and then we have this one which is the next level click duplicate put at the end and then this one which is the hardest one yep click duplicate and put at the end and now on this one we're gonna actually make it explode so you can see boom boom and now it's gonna explode so for the explosion, you want to go and hop onto the internet again, and you want to expurge, ex <laughs> expurge. What the fuck is expurge? Explosion. So um, I tried looking for Minecraft explosions, and even tried looking in the Minecraft coding for the actual texture, and the texture was really bad. So I just reckon to go with. And I'm back. My video actually just cut off there, so now I'm back. So as I was saying, Minecraft explosions are very good. So I reckon to go with an actual default normal explosion. So so as we can have, we have explosions here, but these ones are all nuclear and uh, kind of confusing, and they wouldn't really fit the TNT as TNT does not make nuclear bombs. Last time I checked, so you could actually search cartoon explosion, and boom, we have a nose uh, like cool cartoon ones. Uh, for the purpose of the video, we're actually going to pick yeah, that one looks pretty cool. So you can go ahead, and you don't want to save it, you don't want to copy it, just actually save it. <laughs> just like. That, that really makes sense. So you want to save the image as uh, whatever it's called, download it there, and then hop over to here and drag it in. Okay, so now we have our explosion in basic form. So what you want to do now, as you can see, boom like that. You want to head and shrink this down to actual about size of the TNT. Does not about, matter about the quality that much because it's literally there for like one millisecond and no one's going to notice. <gasps> it's not in HD. Kill him. All right. So there you have it there, and then you want to go into any kind of layers. You want to make sure you've got this like, selected first. Boom. You want to put the capacity like way down. Yeah, about there. That's that's pretty good. So I just want to go and duplicate state. Boom. Then you can go ahead and uh, improve. Um, then you want to go on this. You want to make the size, uh, yeah, slightly bigger. Then you want to go on uh, layers again, and you want to go ahead and hop up the opacity. See there. You're starting to see it come out if we, if we watch the video. Yeah, see? Looking pretty good. Obviously, there's no sound in GIFs, which kind of sucks, but I don't know. Maybe in the future, they'll let you add sounds to your channel banner. That would be pretty cool. But, uh, okay, so now we have this state again. We want to duplicate the state again. And then we want to go ahead and add, do the same thing again. Make it slightly bigger. So the explosion's coming out over the TNT. Hop up the opacity. So you're starting to see the explosion way more than the TNT, because then you can actually get the effect of the explosion. So phew, that's starting to look good. Okay, so we're running out of states here because we don't want the sound to be too big. So we're gonna do a couple more duplicate state. We're gonna do one more big, and then we'll just have the huge one. Okay, so we've got 13 again. Let's go ahead and make this one like the size of uh, about there. Make sure we get in the middle though. It doesn't matter like 100% in the middle because honestly you don't notice it that much when it's like one millisecond. Um, then hop uh, back onto this, go back up to the opacity and just wham up the opacity now. Oh no wait, we're on the wrong layer. Undo that. Undo that. Hop back onto this. Get onto the right state. And then hop up the opacity. Okay, so we'll probably put it on about 80%. You don't want to... And uh, if you put that in, it shouldn't come up. You're going to want to have to edit from the slash. Slash. Okay, so we want to get rid of URL. Uh, and to start it from there, I believe. Boom. Okay, so we now have my banner there. So you can now do this way and click Save Image and uh, get your actual YouTube banner. But obviously, it doesn't have the background bit, but I, it, it's pretty easy to make that because people only see it on the TV anyway. And I, for one, don't have a uh, like an internet TV anyway. So uh, not that many people see it. So you could just add a simple blue background or whatever. So yeah, you want to go for it and do. Uh, do from template or whatever and yeah I'll be right back when I've set it up
Okay, so I'm back. So I just went on file, open, and then found my channel art. It took me ages to find, that's why I put it. And yeah, now I have it. So we can close this down. We don't need to save that. We can close that down and s close this down. And <laughs> these actually do quite cause a little bit of lag. So I'm actually just going to hop onto uh, my subscriptions. So it doesn't cause me lag while I'm doing this, as well as some recording. Uh, we don't need to... S yeah, it's on Do Not Stop. Okay, that's fine. All right. Okay, so the first thing you want to go ahead and do is work out what you want to do on your channel. So obviously there's limitations. You can have... I think I had 15... We can check, actually. Was it 15? Yeah, 14 frames. And each one was on 8. So the higher they are, the more memory they take up. So if you to have this on, like, 100, obviously that would be a really long GIF. 8 is uh, 8 milliseconds. So if you go ahead and hop onto here, you just want to think, what do you want to do? So there's there's lots of things you could do. You can make a stick figure that walks across. As you saw, like, Captain Sparkles, he had a animated thing that f threw something. But obviously, it comes with costs. If you wanted to do something like Captain Sparkles did, where he had that guy threw the sword, that, you're going to need a program called Cinema 4D to animate each of the movements of his character moving and then throwing the sword. So, you're going to need that Cinema 4D, and if you have Cinema 4D, all you need to do is put a player in there and render out. There's so many tutorials on how to do that online, so that's really simple, but I'm just going to be going over how to actually make the actual dot gif instead of how to make the things to put in dot so just for the purpose of the video i'm going to do the same as i did here so to start off with i just got two pieces of tnt off the internet like this let's copy them in and boom that's all i did so you can basically just search tnt actually should we try and if you just search tnt minecraft do like that and uh, go on images and you can basically grab any tnt or if you want to do something different, like, I don't know, redstone lamp, you want to turn on and off. Redstone lamp, you can get a redstone lamp. But for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to do what I did, because I 100% do that. So, for the first, the next thing you want to go ahead and do is you want to add a state. So, you now have two states here now. This is your starting one, and this is obviously your second one. So, the first thing you want actually want to do is you want to delete that one. And you actually just want to do duplicate state, and then it'll have already have your stuff in 100%, because it makes it look kind of, kind of bad, see? Let's put it on about 80% and then for the last one we want to duplicate state again and we just want to make it absolutely massive. You know, take up like a good percentage of your banner. As you remember, this is the TV bit and this is the actual bit you're gonna see on a PC iPod. Actually I don't think they add animated GIFs to wait, let's see. this is a little research here. And let's hop on my phone now, YouTube. I wonder if I wonder if this is gonna come up. It would be quite laggy for like phones, so I'm pretty sure. Alright, uh, let's hop on to my channel. I have so many subscriptions. <laughs> Trollcast HG. Uh, let's click on my. Am I going to have an. Anim yes, I do! Oh, that is pretty cool. Yeah, so they work on. Uh, well, it works on my phone anyway. I assume it would work on iPhones. I have a Windows phone, but I'm pretty sure it would work on everything. Okay, so boom, now we have our huge state. Now, with this, uh, as this one's a bit more like messy you want to put it down to about seven i would recommend and then you need to copy and paste it to do it for all the other ones so you're going to want to go ahead and get onto the bit where we have the explosion in. and just click on the explosion click control c and control v and then just hop over there do the same again control c control v hop and over there next state control c control v hop over to there and state 13 control c control v nearly there now and control c control v okay so that's the last date so obviously that's like the finishing one get it get it in a right around the middle so it doesn't it looks professional then what i did with a cheeky little subscribe thing <laughs> just to like annoy people as it pops up add your text to about 400 you can go ahead and pick a cool font i the batman forever alternate font but uh for the sake of the video let's pick a different one ah yikes <laughs> Yeah, let's use this. Subscribe. I have so many fonts on this computer. I think this is crazy. All right, so subscribe. You could add it like that. You could have a little thing there. Subscribe like that. And then you can make sure it's all working fine. Boom, boom. Poof, subscribe. So, obviously, yeah, you don't have to do exactly what I've done in this video. This was just a basic tutorial on how to work states and how they work. Um, so obviously this is how long they played displayed on the screen for um, and then you can go ahead and like duplicate it and delete them It's you just right click it and all here and that, all that kind of stuff 
And now to finish off the actual uh, thing, this is the most important thing which I had a bit of trouble with because I forgot to do it. You want to go into animated GIF up there. You want to make sure that's on animated GIF as well. And then all you want to do here is go to file. You want to go to save as. Oh no, my bad. You want to go ahead and go to export. You want to name it something. So let's do video GIF. And then uh, images only and press save. Then we go ahead and hop over to our documents. We sh oh, it's just loading. What is up, you guys? This is Strokers HD, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Before we start the video, guys, I'd just like to apologize for any background noise you hear. Just as there's a house next door which is actually currently being worked on, and there is drilling that's going on. Or something like that sounds like drilling. And it's like, brrr, so you may hear it in the middle. It doesn't affect the video that much, but you can definitely hear it in the video. So I'm sorry if that comes up at any point in the video. I may try and edit it out, but obviously I'm trying to get the tutorial out as fast as I can for you guys, so you can do this yourself. Anyway, so 24 hours ago, well, or somehow, <laughs> sometime yesterday, YouTube released a new feature called animated banners, where you can basically upload a git.gif format as your banner. So if we go to hop onto my channel, I've done one really quickly and it's kind of bad, but I will be changing in the future. See so how the TNT flashes, poof, explodes, and it says subscribe for one second. And yeah, I did that. It was pretty easy. Um, I've been looking around. haven't seen that other. As this is very like early days, I've seen many other YouTubers have actually done this, but one of them is Captain Sparkles. He's a huge YouTuber. You may have probably, you would have heard of him. And boom. It's pretty, pretty cool that is. So obviously there is some limitations with this feature. And it's the actual size of the background. So we hop back on over to my channel. And if we were to try and upload one, if we were to go on edit channel art and try and upload one, obviously there is a two megabyte limit. So that doesn't mean you can't make huge animations with this guy walking across, gets killed, some revenge thing. Like, honestly, the size limit is not very big. My, my TNT one, that was 1.5, so that is nearly the limit. So maybe they increase the limit in the future, but the team at the moment, it, this is about all you can do. So to do this, there's a few programs you're gonna need. Well, one program. <laughs> well, you need Google, you need Internet Explorer or Google Chrome as well. Wow. Um, so what I use to do this is actually uh, Fireworks, which I found a lot easier. Some people use uh, Photoshop, but for this tutorial purposes, I'm gonna be using Fireworks. And it's all to do with these things called states. So Fireworks is basically like Photoshop. So it has a lot of Photoshop features, but it's uh, you can also make dot .gifs with it and it's animation purposes and all that kind of stuff. So let's load up a new world. So the first thing, a new world, play Minecraft, what are you want about? Uh, so the, things, the first thing you want to actually do is create a new document. But you're going to need your channel art because you see this is my channel art beforehand and I obviously just added the TNT on. So if you don't have your channel art, this may be a problem. You can always make a new channel art. But... Uh, yeah, that, that could quite a product problem. But if you just wanted this bit, because you know uh, this bit's on the TV and this is your actual thing. If you were just like, oh, I don't have that. I wish I could get that. I actually found out a thing the other day on how to actually gain it. I'm not sure if it's going to work, though, because now I'm using a GIF. It may not work. Oh, yeah, it still works. Okay, so nice. So what you do is you click on your thing and press Expect Element. And if you're in Google Chrome and uh, Windows, it should come up with this. I'm not sure about Mac. But it's probably the same. So you want to go on to do is you're going to copy this link. Copy. 